scripture tonight is from Matthew 7, 15 through 20. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorns or figs from thistles? In the same way, every good tree bears good fruit, but the bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus you will know them by their fruits. I invite you to close your eyes and to breathe in and to release your breath. You'll know them by your fruits. How practical your words are, God. The world is awash in words. Such is what it, I am doing right now. We need a, some way to know how to discern what is true and good, whether the speaker is a newscaster or a preacher, a politician or a policeman. The only safe criteria is the one you give us. You will know them by their fruits, by the way they live. You'll know them by their fruits. Help us discern the fruits of the people we follow. Help us tend and grow and create good fruit. For we know we grow if we're well tended in education, in family life, in love. We grow when we, our minds and souls and bodies are nourished with food and drink, laughter and joy, hope, kindness and compassion, gentleness and generosity. You invite us to look at the world and to look at not what people say but what they do. To see their actions and their lives. To listen to the story that what they do tells. Help us to bear good fruit, to live a life worthy of you, a life that is full of kindness and compassion, gentleness and generosity, laughter and joy and hope. And Holy One, this night we stop and we stay with those who are on our hearts and in our minds, those who are hurting and suffering right now, those who are feeling lost and alone, those who are trapped in addiction, in bad circumstances. Those who feel like there's no way out. And God, we ask you to be with our family and our loved ones. You know their cries and their prayers, and we ask you to draw close to them with your love. Amen.